All right, what is up, guys? It is Coach Todd. I'm coming to you live here. It is Monday, April 17th already, I believe. We got the day right. You know how that goes. Uh, we had uh, my son's post prom to run this weekend, so didn't get a ton of sleep. Um, so catching back up, and uh, wanted to make sure that we get back in line for the week uh, when it comes to your health and fitness. You know, it's it's never perfect. There's always going to be bumps in the road, and you're you know, it's what you learn from those bumps, and you know, learning how to move around those obstacles, right? So, uh, let us know that you're here. Say hi. Uh, I got Coach Denny waiting to come on. He's going to jump on with us. We're super pumped about this training tonight. Uh, it, we called it uncovering your obstacles, right? So. You know, it's it's about figuring out what's holding you back so that you can move forward. You can start progressing inside of your health and fitness, right? Because uh, inside the STB locker room, we fully believe that without a fit and healthy body, you can't show up in life at a level that you were born to be, right? Like we all were born to be great in my opinion uh the all pro uh way is what i call it um you know and it, it is a mindset but you know sitting down uh going through this exercise with us tonight i'm gonna bring coach denny on so he can he can chime in when he feels feels ready to go you ready coach denny i think he's all over yeah. the place what up buddy all right coach denny's here we're gonna bring you this it's uncovering your obstacles denny What's another word for obstacle? What, what I can't think of it. What, uh, <laughs> uh, easy. That's excuses. Uh, excuses, right? <laughs> so you can use this for, you can obstacles, excuses, right? Um, so just kind of, kind of jump into this, you know, if you feel like you've been stuck setting the same goals over and over again, what's up, Kevin? Uh, but you're not achieving them, right? We talk to a lot of guys, right? And it's like, well, I've been after this for 10 years, especially like we work with typically 35 and older guys. What's what's up, Eric? Um, thanks for joining us, guys. We work with guys typically 35 and up, right? Um, we do have some younger guys that we work with, and that's a lot of fun for me because I get to program some cool shit uh, that 40 plus year olds, you know, just can't, shouldn't really be doing anymore uh, for longevity purposes. But, you know, we hear it all the time, right? Like, well, I did this and lost 30 pounds and then I gained it back. And then I did this and I, you know, and then I gained it back. And then I did this and then I did this and then I did this. And, you know, I've thrown money at this. I've thrown time at this. Um, but really what it comes down to is they can't, they have the same obstacles coming up no matter what program you decide to go with. Whether you work with us, whether you work with somebody else, there's, there comes kind of that fork in the road, whether you're going to do it or whether you're going to fall back into the old way, right? So the best way I do this is with a lot of guys is just to uncover the obstacles. We ask our VIPs everywhere, what roadblocks do you see coming up? Do you got to travel? Do you got to do like, we ask every week inside of our VIP group, what obstacles do you see in the foreseeable next two weeks that we need to plan for, Right. Most of us have a hard enough time planning our, you know, tomorrow, uh, much less looking out two weeks ahead, but we like to be proactive and not reactive, right? So I want to give you a quick mini exercise that's going to help you get clear on what's really holding you back, all right? So you can start making progress fast, okay? So once we get guys past these obstacles slash, Denny? Excuses. Excuses, right? Uh, you can really start to see things happen really, really fast. So uh, now when you think about what might be standing in between you and your goals, it could be the food that you're putting in your mouth, right? Uh, it could be how much you're moving or not moving your body, right? What you focus on with your thoughts and beliefs, right? Or anything else, you know, cluttering up your, your fitness journey, okay? And by the way, uh, before we get into this journaling exercise, uh, if you nodded your head along with all of those things, 
I want to quickly invite you to take our free five-day real food challenge because it's going to help you get back on track in just five days. We're literally just launching this tonight. Uh, Denny's going to hopefully post the link uh, in the comments because I can't do it because I, I have too many things going on, evidently. Uh, so just look for the link in the comments and you can join this for free. It's five days. It's going to be awesome. Um, okay, so let's get into it here. So when we're talking about, you know, hitting your goals and really getting past those obstacles slash any excuses <laughs> that have been holding you back, the first step is probably the hardest. All right. This is a step where you get honest with yourself. Like you literally, and I think I know for me, for a lot of years, I just wasn't honest with myself. Right. And identify what's really holding you back. Okay. It's a challenge because we can default into autopilot with our everyday life. And most of us do <laughs> fall into autopilot. Right. And we don't even notice, uh, you know, what's really in our way or holding us back. So if that's you, and it just seems like you've been on this endless roller coaster and you're not even sure why anymore, this exercise should help. All right. So let's get ready. Let's, uh, grab a pen and something to write on or open a Google Doc, all right? And we're gonna start writing. Now, uh, what you write is for your eyes only. Obviously, if you wanna share that with myself or Coach Denny, that's what we do. We work with guys on this, right? Uh, and you can even throw away or delete this, you know, later, you know? So just be super honest with yourself, right? Uh, that's the biggest thing. Um, so once you've got your pen and paper, or your doc open, uh, make a list of all the reasons that you think you haven't been able to achieve your goals. Okay. Seriously, write down everything. You know, I've heard a lot of stuff, right? Maybe it's getting up early. Don't want to get up early, right? Don't like healthy foods, right? Feel like you don't have willpower or motivation. Feel alone in your journey, right? Not a lot of support, you know, or maybe there are factors outside of your control. Uh, and and or you really feel overwhelmed with what to do because there is a ton of information out there. You can't scroll on Facebook too long without seeing somebody talking about some type of pill, potion, lotion, program, thing like that, right? So, uh, and kind of the one that hits me the most is maybe you don't think your goals are for you, right? You think, well, other people hit those goals, but I don't right? Totally a mindset thing. You can accomplish just about anything you want when you put your mind to it and make it a priority, right? So let loose, write it all down, okay? And obviously, if you're watching this, you might not be able to write it down now, but we want you to get it done in the next, you know, 24 hours. And then really read through your list, list and look for common themes, right? Common things that are coming up, time factors, mindset, motivation issues, uh, confidence, support, accountability, et cetera, right? So get it all written down. And then it doesn't matter if you write it all down and you don't take the next step, right? The next step is getting into problem solving mode and taking action, right? So, um, you know, don't have support. I know uh, my wife likes to cook. I know Denny's wife likes to cook as well, right? So, and it's not necessarily the healthiest things, right? So lots of times it's hard because you don't have that support at home. Um, but so if you don't have that support, jump in this group, right? Uh, find other fitness-minded people in your circle. Get a workout buddy, something like that, right? Have an, have an accountability partner, right? Uh, that kind of stuff. And obviously getting a coach can be a real game changer. I know for me, that was the biggest part was I tried to do it on my own for so long that, you know, once I actually decided to invest and know that my fitness needed to be the forefront of my, you know, top, well, the top of my priority list, I, I enlisted the best coaches I could find and possibly afford um, so that I could cut back the time frame, right? It's <laughs> all about saving time. Yeah. The, uh, as soon as I, I knew I wanted to coach men and, and help them in that way, the first thing that I did was I invested, um, you know, I, I invested money in becoming a better coach. And I went and I found somebody who 
uh, was at the extreme end. He had coached 17 guys from 17 different countries that were national uh, bodybuilders, whether it was fitness comp, strongman, this or that, um, because I, I want to be prepared for everything. I want to be there for everybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. So that that could be one of it, right, is, is support, right? Not enough time. That's probably the number one thing we hear, Denny, right, is time. Yeah. Right. So the cool thing with our any of our programs, the workouts are 30 minutes or less. Right. The nutrition is fairly simple. Um, it doesn't take a ton of time to prep your meals, that kind of stuff. Like once you make it a priority and you start doing it, you get better at it every week and it just becomes what you do. Right. So but you can find ways to sneak fitness into your spare moments. Right. Um, you can walk over your lunch hour you, instead of you know, check emails and that kind of stuff. Get out, relax. That helps with stress. Right. And obviously, you know, I, another thing, a coach can help with this because he can program the right amount of time for you in order to get the goals that you want to achieve. Right. Um, I think that's a big one too. I, I used to think it took two hours a day in the gym in order to see the results. Uh, and I can honestly say at 48, uh, I worked, I work out hey, guys, I don't hide my workout. My workouts are on my zone every single day. Uh, my workouts are 30 to 45 minutes long, typically, right? If they go longer than that, I'm, I got a phone call. Denny, Denny's bothering me. Denny calls me all the time. I'm like, what are you, I'm working out. <laughs> it's like, well, I got to talk like, so, uh, things like that. So, you know, it doesn't have to be extreme. It has to be consistent when it comes to your training. Uh, so mindset issues, right? I think the biggest thing for me, I love the mindset aspect of things. Our go all pro mindset training, I think is elite, elite level type training. Um, you know, we do a video every week to get you focused on, this is what we want to focus this week on and the next week on, uh, that kind of stuff. But, you know, surrounding yourself with, with motivation, right? Read self-help development books. Guys, I talk about books all the time. I'm reading Wild at Heart right now. Uh, I post every single day in our VIP group that I, hey, I, I'm not reading it. I'm listening to it uh, because it's just easier for me to listen. Uh, you know, so self-development books, they motivate you. What, you know, watch inspiring YouTube videos. We have a cold shower challenge that we did for 30 days. And I literally had to find a motivational, different motivational video that was about eight minutes long every day. And that got me through those showers. Right. And the cool thing is, is I still haven't missed one. I think I'm on like day 40, something like that uh, in the morning. And I still watch that motivational video. And I'm telling you, when I get out of that shower in the morning, I'm ready to roll. I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to crush my day. Uh, so that kind of, and then journaling, right? Track your progress. Are you getting better? Or are you getting worse? Most people don't track anything. They don't track their weight. They don't track their water intake. They don't track their protein. They don't track their workouts. They, I, I worked out today. I ate pretty healthy. I hear all the time. I cannot tell you how many guys I've talked to over the course of the last just two years that would be like, I eat pretty healthy, but they're 50 pounds overweight. Okay. Well, obviously you don't eat pretty healthy, right? Like, well, do you track it? Nope. And I'm not a huge tracker of my food by any means, but at the end of the day, what you think is healthy and what really is healthy when you add up all the calories, that kind of stuff, track it. Track in, it. Track in it. the guy's defense, I would say nine times out of 10, um, they truly feel that, that, that they are in a healthy state. Um, you know, eating healthy. They, they think they're yeah, eating. Yeah, healthy. Absolutely. Like, right. Absolutely. 100% agree it's with you super boring. Not, we we could do, literally do a class on on what portion sizes are and things like that uh, maybe we'll even do that if there's any interest in it but uh it, it makes a huge difference right absolutely so and, and and once again this is a huge area where a coach can help right i think i'm just one of the easiest things for me to tell people and i say it pretty much every single week greens beast greens and protein cheat code it's it's addition it's subtraction by addition right yeah. put that in your body every single day for the next 90 days change your life okay promise you it's subtraction by addition instead of 
hey, I can't eat this or that. Just put this in your body every single day and watch yourself change, right? Guys that use it religiously, you will use it religiously for a long time. We've got all of, all of our guys that are on the product. Love it. Tastes awesome. And it's the easiest. You want the easiest cheat code on the planet to better health. Are you going to drop 30 pounds in 30 days drinking this stuff? Absolutely not. Okay. But what you will feel is how awesome it is. I just was on a zoom last night for our six week hero challenge. And one of the guys was like, man, I've been drinking these, these greens. I ran out one time and you know, for two weeks I felt like crap. Yeah. I got back on it and it felt better. Right. So, yeah. so huge, huge game changer. Um, when you do that. Um, so really, <laughs> Just a note for anybody who hasn't, and I'm sorry to jump in for this no. one. Anybody who hasn't tried these or anybody who has, I'm not a supplement guy. Anybody who's ever thought or said that, um, supplements a lot of times, it's just food selection anyways, right? But Absolutely. Um, when it comes to this, uh, you know, it's easy. There's a replacement cost value because you're trading this for something else that you would have. And we had, we had a guy who was, you know, just basically going and grabbing the, you know, the monsters and whatnot, you know, before, and he realized he was saving like a hundred bucks a month by ordering the healthy stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. It's crazy. So after you pay for the healthy stuff. So once you get this all written down, you work through it, you figure out what's, what's the common themes that you got to deal with. And, and then you make a plan to overcome those obstacles. Okay. Um, you might not be able to hang out with the same crowd all the time that does nothing but drink and eat nonstop. Right. Like maybe once a week instead of four times a week, that kind of thing. Not saying you got to cut that completely out. Um, but just imagine how good it'll feel to finally ditch all those obstacles slash you went black on me right when i said um, i'm right here i'm right here excuses right so yeah. um you're gonna feel really really good when you can so carve out some some time either tonight or tomorrow get this writing exercise done you know before you have a chance to forget about it right it's time to move your fitness to the top of your priority list right and if you're looking to ramp up your fitness results our stb metabolic uh, playbook program can help for sure. So you can simply reach out to me via messenger or send me, send me anything, you know, any way you want to get a hold of me, send me an email, whatever at Todd at set the bar OTS.com. And, uh, you know, we can talk about it. We can, it, it doesn't cost you anything. Then your, your texts are coming up in private chat. So nobody else is seeing those, but me. Oh, just FYI. So, okay. So really, we, you know, it's about finding those obstacles slash excuses, overcoming them and creating that discipline behind it. I know for me, that that is a big part of it. Uh, I didn't ever want to do any type of cardio until, you know, it was like, hey, you're going to die of, of high blood pressure, like literally going to have some issues. So, um, you know, that's when the whole 20 minutes every single day kicked in for me and just made it part of my lifestyle. And now it's 1200 and some days later. Um, and it's just going to happen every single day. So, cause I want to be the best possible version of myself for me, for my family, for my clients, for my community, for my, my work. Um, you know, and I know it starts, some days later, um, can hear you can hear me talking about it. So, that's what we got tonight. Denny, you got anything else to add in? I know you're on mute. Yeah, I was just trying to get the AV stuff rolling. So I'll, I'll yeah. just drop those down. Drop below, those, right drop those links we in. Down. We've got a free five-day real food challenge. Guys, check it out. Um, it's it's pretty right sweet. now. It's, it's pretty sick. You guys will work. enjoy it. Um, you know, I put a lot of time and effort into that, and it's 100% free. All you got to do is click the link, get signed up. Uh, it'll start rolling on the Monday following when you sign up. Hey, let's, let's do, um, let's do a little gift, you know, a little something, something for, uh, whoever does the five day and then, um, uh, can, can write us a nice review, send it to coach Todd or, or me so that we can use it in uh, promotionals. That would be yeah. awesome. Uh, we'll reward you. 
So yeah, and depending on how many we get, it might be everybody. It might be in a prize pool. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, appreciate you. Yep, absolutely. So guys, it's Monday. Get out, do the work this week. All right, win the days. Be relentless. Get after it. You only got one life to live. So that's what I got. God bless. Much love. Peace out.